The concept of self-similarity shows up in many real-world applications, such as medicine, nature, music, and something important to you all, your cell phone. Before we can understand how self-similarity works in a cell phone, which is through what's called a fractal, we need to construct a basic fractal. Uh, one that I'm going to use is the Coke Snowflake. Once we construct that, you can make that go more advanced with that and that will show you uh, how a cell phone works uh, by using fractals. So what I want you guys to do is draw, uh, I'm gonna, you could use any shape you want to, I want you to use an equilateral triangle. It doesn't have to be exact for this construction, but when you're actually constructing your fractal for me for your project, I need you to be exact with your measurements. Uh, so I need you to use, uh, this would be what's called a stage zero fractal. And for my stage zero, I want to use the number 81, which is going to be the measurement of each of my sides. And I'm choosing 81 because it's easily divisible by three. Whatever number you use, you need to keep in mind that the, it's going to be divided by three every time. So uh, if you choose a number that's, if you choose 41 for your number, then you're going to get into some hard measurements. So if, if my stage zero is, let's say, 81 centimeters, Stage one, if I divide that by three, it gives me 27 centimeters. And what I'm dividing by three is each side of my triangle. I'm gonna divide it into three equal parts. So what's happening is I've taken 81 and divided it by three into three parts of 27. To continue constructing the fractal, what you're going to do is you need to take, a, you're going to measure this exact measurement right here, which we know is 27, and we want to make another isosceles triangle. We want to take a compass, or you can just take a string, depending upon how big your fractal starts. And so what you would do, if you took your compass and held it on one end, when you would, you would construct a pair of arcs that are going to look something like this. And where they cross, you need to connect to make your new triangle. And obviously you're gonna do this on each side every time. This line here in the middle is gonna be erased. So on your paper, you're gonna erase that line out. So that's our stage one fractal. If we go to stage two, we're gonna divide that by three again, which gives nine centimeters for each one. So if I have my first triangle here, then my second triangle is going to be broken down again into nine centimeters each. So if I divide by three on this side, then I'm, again I'm going to construct my arcs up here and make my new triangle. And then this line also is going to be erased. Stage three would be three centimeters and would start, I would have my triangles coming out of here. And this is the beginning stages of the Coke Snowflake. <laughs>